I want to take a little bit of time to show myself making making a little something for my work. I work as a underground distribution lineman. And what we do is we put essentially power line underground for uh, for the city. And uh, we have quite a few things we have to do in our job title other than what the obvious is. But we always try to run into things and figure things out to make things a little bit easier on us. And this is one of them. This right here is actually from a job I had a while back. It's 1000 MCM wire. This used outside of substations and stuff to go to dip holes which are what you see above the ground fed underground from the substation and we made this tool here because we have to strip down this concentric right here this is a static wire all the way around that's a ground and then that would be your main part of the wire and this is ins this is insulation and this is the outer jacket insulation as well <clears throat> now when we do this we have to strip this down a certain amount accordingly to what we're making like a terminator for substation or an elbow or a splice to splice two wires together or put one in a transformer or in a box anyways so what we have to do is we have to get a hold of one of these one of these concentric wires and we have to pull it down to our measurement but as you see it's very tough this wire is very this outer jacket is very tough and the bigger the wire is which is this is about some of the biggest wire you're going to run into it, it can be aggravating now this is the most ideal way you could ever do it and usually it's never this easy most of the time you're in a manhole with no room or you're making it up inside of a substation or hanging from a a pole somebody's ready to put the dip up up the pole so this will be the most ideal situation the way I'm doing it right now so I made this tool now people have made use other tools like a buddy of mine at work has a speed handle that has a hole in it and he twists it but I brought this out after I made it and everybody wants one and that's actually what I'm gonna do here soon now I don't I don't measure it out or anything I would just try to eyeball it for what feels comfortable but uh what we do is a little little bit of leverage that's all leverage is man's best friend that's what I've always been told and I got one hand here so Let's see what I can do all right, this makes it a little bit easier for me so I can show you guys. We get the static wire out and we, we pull it down. And usually we, on a smaller wire, um, quite a bit smaller wire, we'll have someone hold this in and we'll pull it down by hand. And some of the older guys, you know, the, a lot tougher than my generation, they'll get enough of it to wrap it around their hand and they'll, they'll pull it off. But they'll never do that with this. This is lot bigger wire anyways we so what I did here is I made this tool and you just get get it up in there and you twist it and you work it around all the way and as you can see it's still with leverage it's pretty tough it's just tearing right through the you can see it just pulls right through and we would have a mark where we have reamed this jacket all the way around really good without cutting into the copper below it and then we would just take this and peel this jacket right off Anyways, this is one of the tools that I've 
been using at work. And I've actually seen other other ways of people making it. Um, people use that don't have access to a welder. They use threaded pipe with fittings and everything to make one. But this one I've used quite a bit, and it's actually worked pretty well. I decided I was going to make another one, so I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, kind of always want to learn something new every day, and I, I don't know how many people would actually know about that. So there you are. Now I need to out, make sure my everything's square and uh, not much gap at all there. So I'm going to tack it and then I'll load it up and drill a hole and uh, maybe throw some paint on it. I don't know if I'm going to do that for them yet or not, but I'm going to give this to uh, one of the guys I work with that asked about it. So there you are. Doing some milling over there. That's probably some you might see in a video. Give you a little sneak peek of what he's doing. You watch my page, you also get teasers of Jonathan W. Alright, everybody, there's the finished product. I ended up painting it yellow because I'm sure y'all know how it is on a job site or anywhere else for that matter. Yellow, it's easy to see, and if anybody wanted to try to take it from you or anything like that you know kind of stands out now I'm by far not a welder as you can see but structurally it's there and it's not gonna break anyways hope you enjoyed the video hope you learned something new